of you fireproofing professionals, it's Lily with Flame Off Coatings back with another video today on what you should be looking out for when fireproofing an old commercial building. At the beginning of this video, we're specifically going to talk about how old wood structures are affected by intumescent coatings. If you feel like you already know everything you need to know about applying an intumescent coating to wood, go ahead and check out the end of this video. It's going to give you a very important tip when it comes to the application process in general with any building. If you're still here, let's talk about the old wood that you find in your building. So this wood has probably seen a variety of coatings, primers, paints, stains, you don't really know what you're working with, so it's best to use a primer. With Flame Off specific water-based intumescent, you don't necessarily need a primer, but that's only with new wood. With old wood, it's definitely recommended to use a primer. So make sure you keep that in mind when applying. Another issue that you can run into with wood is it cracks. So before you start your application process, make sure you scour the building for any of these cracks. If you find one, make sure that you fill it with fire caulking that is compatible with the primer and the coating that you're gonna be using. There have been many occurrences where people will apply the intumescent coating over these cracks and then they'll have to go back and reapply because they didn't get an even coating, so that means they didn't reach the desired fire rating they wanted. And if you know anything about that, that's gonna be super pricey and time-wise, super inefficient. Mindfulness is an incredible incredibly important part of the application process. So make sure to think before you apply. Okay, this is the last tip of the video and it goes for all building. When spraying the products, there's certain problem zones. So that would be corners and edges of walls. If you're mindful of your start and stop points, you shouldn't have any issues when it comes to evenness of your coating. You want to make sure that certain areas don't get more coating than others. If you keep things even, you should be able to get the fire rating you're looking for. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. They might end up in a future video. And as always, we love being your trusted partner in fire safety. See you next time.